Tonight, the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland is closed to the public on Wednesdays, which means only staff and volunteers are on hand. The dogs are still there, anxiously waiting for forever families. That is, until the sweet sounds of one violin make them feel a little bit more at home. 207's Peggy Kaiser is here now with a story. Peg? Well, Robin Amanda volunteer Anna Perlman had no way of knowing if her music and her violin might make an impact in the most unlikely of places. No sooner had she put bow to string when she had her answer. A day at the Animal Refuge League of Greater Portland normally looks and sounds like this. And it's a constant parade of people through there. And the reaction of the dogs are, hi, nice to meet you, let me out, I want to say hi, you know, so it's not a lot of downtime for them when we're open to the public. The dogs are hopeful that maybe that smiling face passing by their enclosure just might translate to a forever home. A shelter environment is naturally more stressful for an animal. It's not a living room with a couch and a person to snuggle. Um, we love each of them like they're our own, but this is not a substitute for a home. Life in the shelter is anything but peaceful. But on Wednesdays, things around here have taken on an entirely different tone. Anna Perlman knows the impact music can have on people, which is part of what inspired her to reach out to the Animal Refuge League to see if they'd let her perform for some of their four-legged residents. I really just wanted to try it one time as like a trial, you know, because what if they started just freaking out or something? And with that, she showed up with her instrument in hand. There are four different corridors in there. And so I first started and I would move around a little just to see, mostly so that all the dogs could see what that noise was. <laughs> At first, it was hardly music to the pup's ears, but that did not deter Anna. I didn't know what to expect, but I do know animals res respond really well to music. This gives them a little bit of peace and quiet on a day where we're not open to the public, um, so it's not a constant stream of visitors. It's a moment of pure quiet in there for them, which just is, helps, I think, enable them to, to shut their minds off and just and sleep and rest. For those two hours, as the notes from a quiet concerto drift through the space, you can see, one by one, the dogs pausing, letting go simply giving in to the music and the peace. As the shelter violinist, Anna plays for a new audience each week. Most dogs are not here too long before they find their forever home. But Amber, well, Amber's a different story. Everywhere I moved, she was the only one left barking. Finally, I just set up right in front of her and played and she barked and barked. <laughs> and like probably 10 minutes in, the barks got kind of um, fewer and farther between and she eventually actually just curled up and went to sleep. I think for long-term dogs like Amber, who she sits in front of and connects with, it's hugely impactful for a dog like that. Amber's been with us several months looking for a home. Dogs learn to predict things. Amber recognizes Anna at this point, so when Anna comes in and sits down, Amber is no longer stressed or um, reactive to, to the stranger. She recognizes Anna and she enjoys what Anna's providing to her. I love Amber. I just hope she goes to the best home. It inspires me to play with more emotion and more heart because I know that it just directly affects them and you can't always tell what people are thinking but the dogs are, it's pretty obvious when they finally just like lay down in their beds and curl up and go to sleep. And for Anna Perlman, who routinely plays with the Portsmouth Symphony and the Southern Maine Symphony, there is no other concert hall she'd rather perform in. This is the best audience, though. This is better than any. <laughs> it's, it's the best.
Anna's beautiful music simply set everyone, dogs and people, at ease. Now, I thought I was going to cover a, a story that was just about the generosity of a young woman giving her time and talent to comfort the dogs. What I witnessed instead was almost magical. You could literally see the dogs and the people that were there just completely relax. The dogs just let go of all tension. It was amazing. That's good. Like they said, they don't really get a lot of downtime there, and you can tell that when you walk through. So right, it's very exciting. So this was just an hour, two hours really, where they just completely oh. relaxed. So <laughs> it was great. Thank you, Peg. Welcome. And of course, we have more information about Anna and the Animal Refuge League. You'll find that in the 207 section of NewCenterMaine.com.